pretty hard to hire somebody to help you manage your property if you don't know what they're supposed to be doing for you, right? So here we're gonna talk about what are the responsibilities of a property management company. You're gonna learn what to expect from your property manager, what their duties are, and what they're supposed to be doing for you. I'm gonna show you how your property manager can improve your income and help you make more money. And I'm gonna also show you what property managers do and what they don't do and what falls on you and what falls on them. And lastly, we're going to talk about the three property managers and we're going to start with that right now. There's three types of property managers, okay? There's the broker property manager, which is the licensed property manager who oversees a number of different properties. The second type of property manager is the resident manager. That's the person that would live in an apartment building, lives on site and manages the day-to-day -day operations of an apartment building. The third is the building manager. So a broker will typically assign to a person that works for them several buildings and they'll be the building manager or the area manager. We call it the area manager where I am. The area manager is an employee of the broker or of the owner and oversees a number of different properties, whereas the resident manager lives on site. Now, some owners manage their own property and the resident manager would report directly to the owner or if they don't have a broker, they're not using a management company. Your property manager has many duties, including rent collection, screening tenants, collections, keeping books, making sure you maintain your property in a legal manner, keeping repairs up, keeping health and safety up, making sure fire extinguishers are current, making sure that if there's an emergency, someone is available to take care of it, having vendors to fix things like plumbing, electrical, roof, or other problems that may have, doing evictions, handling legal paperwork or notices in, for people who are not complying with the rules of your rental property, and many other aspects. One of the most important things your property manager does is tenant screening. They will have a process to apply for your rental property and will, in that process, check credit, income, do background, previous rental, make sure there's no evictions, and a number of other criteria depending on what the property manager uses in order to ensure that there is a paying tenant that's not gonna be a problematic tenant before they put them into the unit, okay? Another important aspect of the property management is to inspect vacant units. And why is this important? It's important because if you, for example, have property and you're not near it, well, what's to say that the resident manager didn't rent out the unit and never told anybody? So your building manager will need to come by on at least every few weeks and look at all the vacancies and make sure there's nobody living in them. Because what can happen is resident managers can go ahead and rent a unit and not say they rented it for a couple of weeks and collect two weeks worth of rent. It's called embezzlement, okay? So these things happen, that's why you have a building manager. They also can protect you by providing a layer of insurance between a tenant and you as an owner. And that errors and omissions insurance is called is to cover lawsuits in case they make a mistake or they didn't manage the property properly. You are assigning the management to them to operate the property, okay? And you, as an owner, are relying on them as a licensed management company to handle the issues, operations of your building. It probably doesn't surprise you that some of the highest insurance is for property management companies. And the reason why is because they tend to have a lot of lawsuits or issues that come about from disputes between tenants and management companies or tenants and owners. It just happens. So here's where you can help your property management company. Sometimes their advertising isn't so good. Uh, sometimes I will run advertisements to assist the property management company to get more calls, to get more people uh, who are interested because you don't want to have a vacancy for a long time. If you have a thousand dollar a month property and it's vacant for two weeks you've lost five hundred dollars plus the turnover costs right so a lot of times it's good to ensure that the marketing the management company does 
is out before the tenant moves out and they're already screening people to move in so you have less downtime. It may not seem like, you know, 500 bucks like a lot, but when you got a lot of property, it can add up to a lot of money over time. Over the course of a year, depending on your size of your operation, it could be thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands, depending on the size of your operation. It can be a lot of money. So it's important that you get the units rented right away. The key to the business of owning property is, one, somebody put it to me this way, they said, fill your boxes with people that are paying. And when you got an empty box, fill it, right? So simply put, keep your apartments full with people that are paying. And if somebody moves out, assist your property management company and get people, refer people who may want to rent so you can get it rented right away. Another way you can assist the property management group is using some of your cash flow to enhance and upgrade your units. Paint, countertops, taking old, tired looking cabinets, painting them white or replacing them, putting in modern laminate flooring, nice carpet, updating fixtures. I've seen light fixtures from the 1970s, okay? Yes, you need to keep your costs down, but you also need to have a unit that is marketable. And if the unit isn't marketable and it's old and tired and you know nobody really wants to live there, you're not gonna get very much rent. So enhancing countertops, flooring, bathrooms, vanities, you know, making the place look nice makes a big difference for your income. And by using your cash flow to help your management company to enhance the units, you can increase your cash flow, increase your building value, and increase your financial freedom over the long haul. Your property management company can make you a lot of money and so can I. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos and you will get an education from a real real estate guy who does this every day. I buy properties, I own properties, I run properties, I manage properties, I fix up properties, I build properties. That is what I do. So I'd love to help you. Please subscribe and let's stay in touch. Next, we're going to talk about rent growth. Management companies have an ability to look at the whole market because they have access to information you may not have access to and know when you need to crank up your rents. 25, 30, 40, 50, 80, 100 dollars, depending on where you are, per unit over time. They can help you comply with local laws if you have rent control and make sure your notices are compliant with laws. Some states, these laws have been changing a lot recently, especially since COVID. There's moratoriums on evictions, there's ways to do notices, there's a lot of different things that your management company can help you so you don't have any issue. And this is one of the main reasons a lot of people higher management companies. I talked in another video about it. people make money doing what they're doing, whatever their business is, and they're really not in the rental business. They just bought the asset to build wealth and to create cash flow. So they hire a management company to run it. You do need to pay attention to your managed company. Management companies are not set it and forget it. It is common for me to buy property where the management company has not raised rents at all, anywhere near where they should be or where market is because it's easy to just collect their percentage every month and not have to deal with raising rent. So yes, there's a balance where people will move out and you got to pay to redo the unit, but there's also the balance of, geez, you know, my building could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars more if I just kept up my rents. And you let a few years go by and before you know it, you could be $150, $200 behind in rents and then you need a bigger increase to come to market. It's a lot easier to do the 30, 40, 50, $60 smaller rent increase, depending on what the rent is, over a period of years and have tenants absorb that than to hit them with a $150, $200 rent increase. So be sure to manage your property and manage your managers, okay? Manage your managers and make sure they're staying at market rents. Now, one of the ways to find market rents, I just did this with a broker the other day, was Rentometer. He's a real estate broker. He's in the business. And he had a fourplex in Las Vegas and he was $300 under market. And he had no idea. And I showed him and he couldn't believe it because he doesn't live there. He lives in California. And rents have gone way up in Vegas because there's a lot of demand, people moving there. Well, if you're not paying attention, he wouldn't know that. What's he gonna do? He's gonna talk to his property manager about moving his rents up, okay? And that's what I'm talking about with you if you have property and a property manager. It's to manage the manager. One of the most important aspects of your property manager that's going to make a big difference for you is when you go to refinance is the reports they generate. All of your lenders are going to want a rent roll. 
They're going to want an income and expense year to date. They're going to want the last year or two of income and expense so they can average what your expenses are and manage management fees and how your property is being managed and what your rent roll is. All of those things make a difference in your ability to borrow, get cash out, and continue to invest in real estate and continue to have positive cash flow on your property. So that's one of the great things about a property management. With a click of a button, they can send you these reports. Now, if you have a loan on a property, especially apartment building, your management company is going to need to provide your lender and your lender will ask you because you're the borrower for updated reports and updated rent rolls to evaluate the asset that they have a loan on and make sure operations are smooth. So that's another great benefit of a property management company. Uh, whether you manage yourself or you use a management company, always, always, always make sure you keep track of changing ordinances and laws, especially in times like COVID, and make sure that you get legal advice and professional advice in running your operations to make sure you don't make mistakes or do things that could potentially cause you issues, okay? I'm Paul McGuire, and uh, if you wanna see my new book, which I'm working on now, go ahead down in the description area and uh, go ahead and click the link and I'll be happy to send you my book. All right, let's see you soon.